Hmm? Who are you? Wait. Not important. You're new, and not a statue. I can use that. Ah, yes, uh, I did it. I turned them to stone, but for a good reason. It was the only way to protect them from the savage beasts. The animals here are normally very tame. Energies in the wood. Now they're vile and bloodthirsty. I believe they've been possessed by Daedra. I lost some of my apprentices to the beasts, so when I made it back to town, I cast a spell that would protect everyone. It was the only way. As long as those creatures prowl the woods, we're in danger. I believe the monoliths in the woods have something to do with the Daedric influence. Dispel their energies. Hopefully that will free the animals. When the Daedric influence is gone, it should be safe to restore the village. My poor neighbors. Sense the field disperse. I would speak with you. Bet they weren't expecting that. The energy subsides, but the animals are still savage monsters. We'll have to try something else. We need a bear. I've spent some time studying these monoliths. I've managed to create a little magical fob that imitates their energy. Essentially, it will make one of the Earth signs your furry friend. For a time. I need to... We need to extract the Daedric energy from these beasts. To do that, we'll need a test subject. You'll have to rough the furry fellow up a bit first. Weaken him for the spell to work. Meet me at my tower with your friend. Just follow the road through the grove.
Ah, good. Now let's see if I can banish the Daedric influence from this creature. This will not do. Something here is very wrong. A flame, Atronach. My spell should have sent it screaming back to oblivion. But something else interfered. There's a powerful Daedra nearby. I know it now. You have to kill it. A moment. I can feel something. There's a cave north of here. Whatever this monster is, dispatch it, and we can return the grove to peace. Stay back. This cave is filled with Daedra. Meromo leaves me here to die. And he doesn't even mention me? Stars take him. I'll kill that traitor twice. This debacle is all Meromo's fault. These beasts, controlled by Daedra? All his idea. He was trying to create animal soldiers. Fanged shock troops with the ability to reason. No, it hasn't. Look, whatever's actually controlling these things, I think it's at the bottom of the cave. I'm... very woozy. Blood loss. I'll stay here. Try to stay conscious. I heard. I heard the battle. Impressive. I assume you won. Stars, yes. Let's get that bastard. Moromo needs to pay for what he's done here.
Sure you don't teleport away. Listen, you can't tell the Cannon Reeve. She'll kill me. I'm not. I'm not joking. She'll have me put to a blade. My nephew, Yander, went off to join the fighting and... Damn it, I just wanted to stop spending our blood. My sister will never be the same. It's not just the Daedra. It's the monoliths. I've studied them for years, worked out how the magics pacify the beasts. But that's all the magic does. It turns beasts into mewling pets, not combat troops. Yes, the flame Atronox are essentially just raw Daedric energy given form. I summon some, hold them down, and pour them into the monoliths. That creature in the cave was not in the plan. What? What just happened? He did what? Why would he do that? Hmm. Mages. Fine, fine. Thank you for speaking with me. Thank you. I heard what you said, and thank you. I never meant for anyone to get hurt, and the lesson here is clear. Daedra are never the answer. I'll never attempt this kind of ritual again. You probably hear this kind of thing all the time, but again, thank you, Traveler. So, you're the one that saved the Queen, eh? You don't look that special. Diamonds? Shout. 
Oh, fair day. Fair day to you. You're here with supplies for Tellinger, I expect. Please don't tell him I was sitting down on the job. Stars, yes. The dig site leader. Look, he's just up the path. Just keep your mouth shut about me. Ah, at last. You must be here with my supplies. Just put the ink and delicate items in the tent here. You can begin unloading the bulk goods with my assistance. Truly, this is the last time I trust an order to that Bosma. It fits, though. His doing has been one disaster after another. First the spirits, now the supplies. And to top it off, my top scholar and her team are missing. Stars, yes. And Derwin and her team are somewhere in the ruins looking for the Malari Mora. They're long overdue. If you're not here with supplies, perhaps you'd go look for them. Best case scenario, they found the Mora. I don't want to think about the worst case. Too many variables. The Magicka Lattice can be disrupted, but the underlying... Fair day! How goes the translations? Wait, you're not one of Tellinger's students. A fair day indeed. I'm studying the spirits that now haunt these ruins. I believe they can be released, sent on to their final reward. Perhaps you'd be willing to help with an experiment. Take this crystal. I've etched a series of micro runes onto its surface. Weaken the spirit's hold on the physical world, and then focus your will. That should sever the spirit's hold on Nern. Allow it to pass into Aetherius. My talents do not lie in the brute application of spell power. Otherwise, I would be at your side. Field experimentation is fascinating. I'm free to seek my rest. He hates everyone. Anything valuable? This is so much better than reading. The curse! It's gone! I owe you my freedom. From the curse of the Malari Mora! The Malari Mora no longer binds me. Thank you. I thought this my spiritual grave. Thank you for giving me freedom. Can it be? You've undone my curse. I thank you, brave one. Malari Mora no longer binds me here. Free of the curse. What's this? The curse is gone? My freedom has returned. The curse is gone. Finally, I am at peace. A weight has been lifted and peace will be mine. Thank you. Traveler, I must speak with you. Meet me at the vault entrance on the ruin's edge.
I felt the curse drawn back to these ruins, just as I felt your touch release them back to Aetherius. I am Quaronidil, once a member of the proud Dur family, now lashed to the face of Nern by shame. I had the misfortune to call Asanyon Dur my brother. Esduin was home to many powerful mages when I walked beneath the sky. Within this vault lies a magical lattice very similar in function to the crystal you now hold, only much, much more powerful. Just so. There is one obstacle to overcome, a puzzle that defends the ancient mage's spell work. Thirteen tiles surround a chest within. The correct four must be activated to access the lattice. Knowing the mage, I only have my best guess. The tiles represent the great constellations. He held the Guardian constellations in high regard. The mage, the thief, and the warrior. Good luck, traveler. The lattice may be the last hope for the fallen. dead. That makes you my new friend. Thank the stars for that old man. Canny is hurt, and some of my team members have been taken. We need to get her back to camp. Now that you're here, we can make a break for it. Some of the spirits appeared, grabbed my researchers, and then vanished. We need to get into the Undercroft. It's the only place I can think they'd be. Perhaps we were out there looking for runes. Combined, these ruins form a key. We only need two more. Take a look, and I'll meet you at the entrance of Esduin's Undercroft. I made a bet with Huntherin on the way back to camp. Did you find the runes? That Mur owes me five gold. You've done well. Just a moment, and I'll assemble the key. 
I hope so. If they're not, not worth thinking about right now. This will be quick. There, it's done. Let's go. Now to find the others. Meldil! Thank Ariel he's still alive. I tried to stop him. Meldil, I couldn't. Have you seen the others? I couldn't help them. Uri Kanta. He's here. He's trapped the others. He's using their souls to form the gate. You have to stop him. The gate opens onto a shard of Aetherius. Without the soul-binding rituals, the gate will close. He is... was... one of us. One of Tellinger's students. Tellinger cast him out. Urikanta is here. He's the cause behind all of this. I tried Urikanta. The gate, take my amulet. It should let you see, touch, Aetherius. You'll have to make a decision. Break the bindings, or kill the students. Just beware the thirsters. The overlay with Aetherius has allowed powerful spirits into the Undercroft. They're what brought us down here in the first place. Be careful. If one gets a hold of you, you could get pulled in yourself. I'm going to tend to Meldil. We'll move to the room just behind me. We should be safer in there. Of course, but speak quickly. It's a name we're all trying to forget. Urikanta is very close. Was very close to me. Tellinger cast him out of the guild and forbade him to use magic again. He couldn't understand that power has to have limits. That some costs are too high. You can see here what he's willing to do for a taste of power. Pumping, right? Stars guide you. Is no spell to help you along the way. Help me. I can't take this anymore. Oh, 
guns. It burns from inside out. I need help. By the light of Auriel, you've returned. You are a capable sort. Stars guard your steps. I'm going to get us out of here. Put a stop to this madness. Find Urikantar and end him. Ah, Tellinger's latest pawn approaches. Hold a moment before we continue the game. The old Mur and I have played the game for some time now. So sad to see another soul caught between us. Of course you have. He can't possibly let me go. Can't possibly let me succeed. It no longer matters. After you're dead and gone, I'll find new vessels. Draw forth the power I need from them. And I hadn't planned to be here. I plan to take over from the old Mur and perform the life binding with Aunt Derwin. Instead, look at me. This is my last chance for a legacy, to own and control a shard of the Arthur. I wouldn't have it any other way. Come, let's see which of us lives to tell this tale. will be mine.
return. I'm almost afraid to ask, but what news? Remarkable. I'm not easily impressed, but you've done it. And your Ikantar disappoints to the bitter end. Such a waste. All that remains is to tend to the wounded and continue the research. With the Mora in hand and Urikantar dead, his doing will soon be at peace. I'll see to it. We're looking especially strong lately. I like it.